up in my videos by hell where you never know what I'm gonna come up with. How about a short log with two cuts that don't go all the way through? Reason why? There's some metal in there. Whoops. So the idea is to cut this up into firewood and what we're gonna use is a previously damaged blade. So what I'm gonna do, set that blade on the sharpener, not knock the burrs off, put it on the sawmill and slice, slice. See how it goes. Flip it over and see what happens. Now I did realize one issue. If we flip this piece over, these cuts are gonna be down and so the piece will not be supported correctly on the bed rails. So we're gonna check the shallowest depth with our depth finder and then I'll measure it with the tape measure and we will not drop below that number. So it's actually fairly deep right there. But right here, it's shallow. And so that's what's gonna hold it together. Right there. Are you ready to wreck a blade? Okay, our last cut will be three and a quarter. So I pre-programmed my last cut to be three and a quarter. And then with the axis set two, I can auto up two inch increments. And we want to start about nine inches. How about that? Nine and five eighths, we'll switch this over to set down. And we're ready to saw. Let me turn my stuff on and we'll get going. You saw the camera jump when the blade came out of the cut. And the camera was about right here, facing forward. And the reason this piece moved, because the blade was dishing in the cut. And so when it got to the end, the teeth broke out, the band raised up, and then carried this board sideways. So let's take a look. 
Hit a nail right off the bat right there. Hit two more right there. Oh, three. Whoops. There's two there, one there, and one there. So, found some. Let's find some more. I think before we saw any more, we're going to talk about our cut. Now, when we hit this nail, it affected the blade, but not real bad. If you look here, it was running relatively flat, even though it hit this nail and a previous nail from a day ago. But once you get down here, let me switch hands, you can see, after hitting those three nails, the blade dove down and dove down a lot. Can you? Oh, there you go. So what I think we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and put this blade in a scrap metal pile. And we're going to retrieve another blade. Those four are from one customer. And we're going to take that top blade, put her on the sharpener, knock the burrs off, put it on here, and finish killing that one. After further inspection, I've determined that it's going to be two-strand barbed wire, and there may be a horseshoe nail holding that in place. Same with that one. That was just a big nail, I think. But what we're going to do is we're going to drop down another two inches and make another slice and see what we find. Okay, I had to stop. I didn't have to stop, but I decided to stop because the blade was pulling down and it actually pulls down against our anti-dive blocks. There's a block on the bottom and a block on the top. And all these components are brand new. They don't look brand new, but trust me, they're brand new. There's almost $500 rollers, guide blocks, mounting plates, everywhere. So I really don't want to screw up my wear pads so I'm just gonna go ahead and stop right here. I'm gonna take a chainsaw, cut the blade out, and do something with it. For the inquiry minds that just want to know, see we're touching right there, and we're touching right there, and we're not touching there. We hit something at an angle. Oh, there it is. Okie dokie. There you go.